The Orlando Magic were the most improved Eastern Conference team this season based on year-to-year -year win totals, going from 22 victories last year to 34 this year. They actually started 5-20 and, and then posted a winning record the rest of the way. They feature one of the most exciting young duos in the league in Paolo Banquero and Franz Wagner. Both are extremely versatile, which gives the Magic so much tactical flexibility going forward. For Franz particularly, he improved across the board in his second NBA season. He averaged 18.6 points, which was over three more than in his rookie campaign on 48.5% overall shooting and 36.1% three-point shooting. He also averaged 4.1 rebounds and 3.5 assists. His number one strength, without a doubt, is his driving ability. We haven't seen a player with better footwork on drives, arguably, since Manu Ginobili, and Franz is about four inches taller than Ginobili. On top of the crafty movements, Franz has incredible touch, making driving shots from all sorts of angles and going in different directions. Wagner made the 10th most driving shots in the league in 2022-23, and he shot a shade under 50% on those attempts. He has this unique blend of relentlessness, patience, balance, body control, shiftiness, and precision that you just don't usually see, especially from those around his size. He replaces speed and power with extraordinary finesse that defenders struggle containing. It's like he's playing a game of Pac-Man, looking to avoid the ghosts in the maze. He's so good at swerving out of congestion, accelerating and then decelerating before finding the seams in the defense to get his shots off. And then the icing on the cake is his consistency making shots on the move going in either direction. He's one of the best I've seen at splitting through traffic and not ramming over defenders. In his two seasons combined so far, he's only committed 12 charges. On that note, he doesn't turn the ball over much on his drives, under 7% of the time. He doesn't blow past defenders much, just 12% of the time when he took a shot on a drive. But despite that, a lot of times opponents send help defenders to try and prevent him from getting to his spots. A help defender showed on his drive 78% of the time, according to second spectrum tracking data, which was around the same percentage that James Harden and Kyrie Irving received this season. Franz was one of Orlando's best catch and shoot three point shooters as well, making 41.5% of his 135 attempts this season. That was the 45th best mark in the league among players who took at least 100 catch and shoot threes. He's good from all areas beyond the arc when spotting up too. He shot 45% from straight away, 42% from the corners, and 39% from the wings. He made a few clutch ones as well throughout the year. It's why many have nicknamed him fourth quarter Franz. He scored the ninth most points in the fourth quarter and made nearly 41% of his threes in the final frame, which was the best mark among players who scored at least 400 fourth quarter points this season. His other big scoring strength is his cutting. One of the things you'll always notice watching Franz is that he never stops moving. He has incredible endurance, and I think a lot of his defenders burn out guarding him, which might explain why he's such a high fourth quarter score. He took 89 shots on cuts, which was 26th most, and made a shade over 74% of those attempts, the 14th best mark among players who took at least 75 of them. It's amazing how often he catches defenders napping. What Wagner doesn't really possess in his arsenal, at least yet, is an isolation or post-up scoring game. In fact, only 6% of his scoring came in isolation and he shot 33% in these situations. He also only took 17 shots while posting up a defender. His in-between game is limited. He showcased a little bit of a Dirk Nowitzki-esque fallaway jumper early in the season, but at the moment he doesn't really operate from the mid-range. He's much more comfortable hunting for a shot near the basket than stopping on a dime anywhere between the paint and the three-point line. Of his 1,118 shots taken this past season, only 76 came from the mid-range and he made 43.4% of those attempts. He also shot just 34.5% on pull-ups. I firmly believe Franz's playmaking is what's going to improve the most going forward. He has the potential to be an excellent orchestrator. He's been showing flashes of it early in his career. 
but I expect this to get sharper and cleaner with more experience. I think Paolo will also get a lot better at this, which if it does for both of them, the Magic will be able to explore more lineup combinations that feature even more size and versatility. Franz is an extremely smart player with the length to accompany it. He and Wendell Carter Jr. have amazing chemistry. Carter shot 59% from the field overall, 6% higher than his season percentage, and 50% from three-point range, nearly 15% higher than his season percentage, when the pass was delivered to him from Franz, according to Second Spectrum. Franz doesn't turn the ball over much either, just 2.1 per contest this past season, and 1.8 so far in his career. Franz is also one of Orlando's better defenders. The combination of his length, hustle, and anticipation really stand out. He led the Magic in deflections with 159 of them. Several players struggled with Wagner guarding them. Here are some shooting percentages by opponents according to Second Spectrum, with Franz as the closest defender. Jalen Brown shot 2 of 10. DeMar DeRozan, 1 of 7. RJ Barrett, 2 of 11. Scotty Barnes, 2 of 7. Jeremy Grant, 3 of 10. Zach Levine, 3 of 9. DeJounte Murray, 6 of 16 and Anthony Edwards, two of five. As far as players that he resembles on the court, I mentioned him earlier, but Manu Ginobili is probably the best comp for Franz. Manu may have been a little quicker and more acrobatic on his drives, but the movements, the craftiness, and the touch are all similar. Franz, as I said earlier, is four inches taller than Manu, giving him some extra advantages. Another player that he reminds me of is former Magic player Hito Turkoglu. Turkoglu was also 6'10", was an excellent perimeter shooter, and had outstanding court vision and instincts at his size. In the late 2000s, he was one of the league's premier point forwards. And then also, there's some early career Gordon Hayward in Franz as well, especially how they move without the ball. As I said earlier, there's a lot for the Magic to be excited about with all the young talent they have, led by Bancaro and Wagner. They will also potentially have two lottery draft picks this year. They have their own, and then as long as Chicago doesn't move into the top four in the lottery, Orlando will get that pick as well. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.